My name is Oroashi Saha. I'm a professor in mechanical engineering department, Puducherry Technological University, Pondicherry, India. The topic of today's presentation is high performance heterogeneous computing for quantum computing simulations for training the quantum workforce. The outline for today's presentation. First, I will brief the abstract. Need for quantum workforce training. Scientific computing changing landscapes. Skills and competency learning changing landscapes. Academic research internships and professional development courses. Skills and competencies imparted. Elements of academic research internship for training the quantum workforce. Frameworks detail of academic research internship. Implementation methodology. References. World over industry is reporting about quantum breakthroughs. Scientists and engineers from research institutes are claiming the hurdles surpassed in realizing the most talked about technology of this millennium, that is quantum computing. Well, to take forward this quantum revolution, there will be need to nurture super quantum engineer skills in human resource that will form the core of the quantum technologies ecosystem. In my presentation today, I will describe the high performance heterogeneous computing for quantum computing simulations for training the quantum workforce so as to meet the challenges from disruptive technologies within a dynamic academic curriculum framework through research internships to sustain careers in rapidly changing technology landscapes. The sole objective of quantum workforce training is making technology accessible to stakeholders in academic research, industry, consulting, and government institutions. In the quantum workforce training, competencies imparted aims to accelerate the fundamental and applied research and developing quantum computing aware human resource. Quantum workforce training will enable dynamic response to technological changing scenarios so as to develop super quantum engineer skill sets for sustainable future career of students. The main highlights of today's presentation topic, that is high performance heterogeneous computing for quantum computing simulations for training the quantum workforce are the first one, theoretical conceptual frameworks. Second, classical computing hardware frameworks. Third, scientific computing programming language frameworks. Let us look at the need for quantum workforce training. 
future proof desirable skills for mechanical engineers from reference 1 suggests that simulation quantum and energy are the future proof desirable skills future ready disruptive skills in demand for technology firms from reference 2 suggest that quantum computing parallel computing cloud technologies software development methodologies artificial intelligence and machine learning connected technologies fintech natural language processing proactive security it automation are disruptive skills in demand it is quite evident that there is skills shortage as there are far less quantum trained workforce with undergraduate qualification so we have skilled quantum trained workforce at phd level at post doctorate level but we have very limited or skills shortage at the undergraduate level academic research internships are the gateway to introducing and providing opportunities to students particularly at undergraduate engineering students worldwide scientific computing is undergoing dramatic changes and the changing landscapes are shown in the slide with the first column we look at the technology the second column we describe the old paradigm and in the third column we look at the paradigm shift accelerating numerical computations the old paradigm was cpu based high performance computing in the newer paradigm we use gpu fpga asic tpu npu keepu for high performance computing computing has changed from classical towards quantum biological analog reversible hpc resources centralized cloud towards decentralized blockchain simulation data interpretation visualization from offline towards real time software from bare metal towards containerized programming language compiled towards interpreted interpreted plus compiled heterogeneous hpc hardware fixed configuration and energy inefficient towards reconfigurable and energy efficient electronic device design moore's law to thermodynamic limited based computing architecture incognitive towards neural brain inspired entropy minimize disorder towards order from disorder self organized programming algorithms serial to inherently parallel computer memory separate to unified industrial revolution we have already witnessed industrial revolution 1 2 and 3 currently we are in the industry 4 era manufacturing subtractive to editing high performance computing tflops workload 
offline cloud computing to real time edge computing. Now let us look at some of the changing landscapes witnessed in skills and competency learning for students. Now learning from classroom to online, skill sets from discipline specific to multi-talented, lectures, seminar to webinar, recruitment in campus to off campus, experience, real to portfolio, curriculum development, static and obsolete to dynamic and future ready, which preempts the future, updates the pedagogy, and includes professional development. Training, rigid and inflexible to adaptable and seamless transition. Job functions, predefined to evolve with time and flexible. Workplace, corporate office to remote working. Professional skill sets from remaining just competitive to becoming future ready and future proof. Skills and competency imparted in academic research internships and professional development courses conducted recently at Puducherry Technological University. Summer academic research internship on industrial cryogenics for quantum technology and preparatory training on industry for certification. Shows some of the competencies imparted and uh, the level achieved by the students in each of the competencies. Similarly, in professional development courses, hands-on practice, scientific machine learning, and AI for energy technology and engineering, hands-on practice, electric hybrid fuel cell vehicle and autonomous transport, shows the competencies imparted and the level in each of the competencies achieved by the students. So the proposed academic research internship for training the quantum workforce will have the elements such as Theoretical conceptual frameworks, classical computing hardware frameworks, scientific computing programming language frameworks. The quantum workforce training envisaged here uses grounds up methodology. Let us look at the frameworks detail of the academic research internship, starting with Theoretical conceptual frameworks will have the following submodules linear algebra mathematics. Quantum computation can be described in terms of elementary linear algebra with vectors, matrices, and their properties, and familiarity with Dirac notation for vectors and matrices is important. Quantum mechanics module. Quantum computing as such is based on the principles of quantum mechanics governed by quantum phenomena, is characterized by particle and wave nature, postulated by Max Planck, Albert Einstein, Heisenberg, De Broglie, Schrodinger, 
Polly, Von Neumann, Dirac, Niels Bohr, Hamilton, Hilbert, Max Bond, Non equilibrium and quantum thermodynamics is the third sub module. Quantum thermodynamics study rebuilds thermodynamics from the laws of quantum mechanics and useful for exploring the link between information and thermodynamics as established by Launderer in quantum regime and for predicting the thermodynamic resources required to generate sustained quantum phenomena. Industrial cryogenics is the fourth submodule as uh, it is used in quantum fluid dilution refrigeration in quantum and cryogenic computing. In classical computing hardware frameworks, we have the following submodules. High performance distributed and parallel computing. HPC includes computations in parallel over compute elements, CPU, GPU, with a fast network using MPI programming model. The next submodule is GPU heterogeneous computing. GPUs are currently being used to accelerate resource heavy computing in real time design. They need moderate programming effort, reconfigurable FPGA computing, extremely fast real-time processing in parallel, but with limited programming flexibility, but better performance. Cloud computing for containerization and virtualization. Cloud offers classical computing as well as quantum computing environment, providing the way for executing quantum algorithms and to ease the difficulty to install and run different quantum libraries on different computing architectures. Containerization makes this process easier. In scientific computing programming language frameworks, we have the following four submodules. The first one is Julia programming language. Julia takes advantage of different computing architectures while reducing the programmer's burden. And notably, parallel computing features Availability from start in Julia when compared to other programming languages. Python programming language. Python is widely used in all popular quantum algorithms, libraries for building quantum circuit simulating qubit operations. Haskell programming language. Haskell programming can be used for simulating quantum computations with Haskell functions. Haskell being a functional programming
quantum programming language. Silk is a high level quantum programming language for quantum computers. Basically, it optimizes the programming of quantum computers. With shorter code providing both read and write ease. After the student completes the academic internship on quantum workforce training. The competencies are shown on the left with all the 12 submodules. And based on the student's success, he can reach the desired level as per his effort. So slide shows some of the competencies uh, as a beginner level. That is just for sample display. So those uh, competencies are not limited to only beginner level. Just to show that a student can have uh, a mix of different competencies with different levels. The implementation methodology in case uh, high performance distributed and parallel computing competency module is taken as an example. What is the methodology followed? Typically, we describe brief steps for setting up a distributed memory computing system using Ethernet or Wi Fi network switch. So, following the given six steps, the distributed memory computing setup will be successfully achieved. To enable the students to further proceed with the tasks assigned related to high performance distributed and parallel computing in the academic research internship. Now, in this slide, we describe the sample methodology for competency on singularity HPC containerization. Now, suppose uh, installing and running Wine HQ, that is uh, Windows programs in Linux inside a Ubuntu singularity container. The brief steps are described. And the last step will demonstrate the successful installation and running of a Windows application program inside Linux in a singularity container. So once this uh, HPC singularity containerization implementation is successful, the students can further 
use this for the tasks assigned in the academic research internship. So with this, I come to the end of my presentation. The following references have been used in making this presentation. Before I close my presentation, this slide shows the past professional development courses conducted. past academic research internships conducted. Thank you.